Okay, here we go. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. And I'm wherever you find yourself in this big, beautiful world of ours. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Richards, and this is. I'm Stephen Estelle. Stephen Estelle of 3D, Rapid Scan 3D. Yes. All right, so I think this is the uh, fifth log in the progress report for our C Swan. And uh, we've, we've uh, once again come a long way. And here we go, folks. So you can see here we've got the, the large uh, version of the uh, C Swan. And uh, so you'll notice right here, we, uh, you can see the window, the apertures for the uh, pilot and the passenger. So we wanted to make that to where you could see, you know, that gives you a good idea of the scale and, and where people are, are actually going to be in the airplane. And also you can see the strake and the sponson here. Now the way, the way you're going to get into the airplane is you step onto the sponson and you get into the strake and then you step into the airplane. So it's a very easily accessible aircraft and we finally completed the 3D modeling. So after we've done this, and then we went, we made our first attempt at uh, actually printing a model of it, and uh, and it came out uh, really interesting. Here it is, uh, everybody. So you can hold that. Yeah, yeah. So what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to bring the camera up here, so you can uh, do a little bit of explaining on the whole way we do a 3D print of uh, of the model of the Sea Swan. So I'm yeah. going to bring the camera up here a little yeah. bit. There we go. All right, Steve, why don't you tell us about that thing? All right, so cool. So this this airplane was printed on our Raised 3D into 3D printer mm -hmm. made out of PLA material. All right. And it is from a fused deposition based 3D printer, which pretty much has a spool of plastic or material that gets extruded into a nozzle mm -hmm. and then it melts it and then it starts making it layer by layer. So as you can see inside the model, here, let's the, get up the close up there. The machine had a small error where the top half of the airplane was shifted to one side, and we're trying to figure out and troubleshoot that right now. But I like I gotta tell you, Steve, I like that error because what it did was is if you look on the inside, you can see what's that called? Lattice work? That's the internal structure. So yeah, the lattice structure on the inside, so that's uh, you can actually change that value. So mm -hmm. you can change the infill of your parts. Mm -hmm. So currently I set this airplane infill to about 15%. Okay. So then that's why the last structure has bigger spaces ah. in between. But then if you wanted it to be 100%, it would just be solid. Okay, so what's this called here, this stuff? So then on the sides over here, we have the support material. Support material. And this material is easily breakawayable. Okay. So that way you can get these overhanging parts built on top of something. Hmm. Just so it has something to print on when it gets to that layer. Well, when you look at it, everybody, I want you to see, you can see the general configuration here, the two vertical stabilizers, the horizontal stabilizer. This is the forward uh, of the airplane. That's the aft. Here's our engine right here. And you can see the goal wing configuration. So it's really, you already can see it right here. Even though the machine did make a mistake, it's an interesting mistake. And uh, like I was telling Steve, we're going to keep this for the museum of the Sea Swan later. That's the, yeah. Yeah, that's the first, uh, that's our first iteration of uh, the Sea Swan in model form. And uh, I think next week we'll go, we're going to go ahead and uh, attempt another print, Steve. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, next week we're going to go ahead and attempt another print. Steve's going to send me some of these, uh, some of these views uh, on my email, then I'll be posting them on Facebook and also YouTube. So go ahead and everybody continue to follow us because uh, next week is pretty much, uh, we should have the completed model in our hands all together. We can look at it uh, completely. And uh, he's going to start doing, uh, Steve will start doing some color schemes on uh, on the sea so I want to look forward yeah. to that. I'll have to ask you about uh, if you have any preferences on color. And, uh, okay, I'm pretty flexible, you know what I mean? It's, it's that, that's kind of the fun part, you know, doing the, doing the paint schemes and stuff. So, okay. uh, so yeah, Steve, uh, next week uh, we'll go ahead and take care of that. So, uh, everybody, until that time, thank you for, for your, your time. time. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I think that's going to work well.